Hello, Geniverse. How are you doing today? Uh, I hope you're still playing the game. And uh, please let me know, have you started? Were you able to uh, have that uh, code already? Were you able to join um, scholarship? I had posted a few about the AAG Guild. Some One of our subscribers reached out to me and uh, she uh, sent the application form. Uh, it was already fixed. I hope you had signed up. Uh, just be aware that they're only giving 25% to the uh, uh, scholars and 75% for the investors. Now, if you're wanting more, you can search other guilds and find out how much are the share profit. But in today's video, it's all about profiting and augments. And if you hadn't seen it before... Uh, it was recently announced by the uh, Genopets team as uh, posted in their Twitter and Discord server. Uh, I think this was uh, posted September 3. And they said crafting is coming and recipes are here. So it looks like we're about to cook, cook for something. Uh, we'll be releasing the road to crafting and nurture next week. But... As you stuck up on crystals and key, we wanted to show some ways you can craft with them. Instead of a simple list, I wanted to share my personal crafting recipes. You'll find my notebook attached below or linked here. Uh, be on the hunt for useful recipes. So what I'll be doing, guys, is I, I downloaded the uh, PDF. And I'll be showing that to you. Um, in fact, uh, it's also uh, they also posted it here on the uh, white paper, so you can also um, download it yourself. Uh, the uh, Geno Pets white paper link is always on the description of my uh, Geno Pets video, so you can check that out. Same with the Discord um, server of uh, Geno Pets; it's always on the description of this video, so check it out so yeah let's proceed with the notebook so let's start with page one so very beautiful uh cover of a notebook and crafting recipes volume one so obviously we will be expecting volume two three four and so on and so forth we don't know how many volume it is the graphics is so nice Currently, it's only 16 pages, so we will just quickly browse through it. This notebook is property of Alkali or Alkali. If found, please return. So I think Alkali is the one who posted the uh, announcement from the Discord. And I check her uh, or his profile. He or she is Genopets team admin, Genopets team, community mod. She, he or she has a gene, Genesis Genopet, a beta taste tester, and DNA hopeful as well. So she's pretty much everything, or he is pretty much everything. Okay, so he said return if found. So we cannot return anymore because uh, we, we all have it. And then note to self, according to Ben and Papa Albert, information may change as advances in alchemy are achieved. So in short, uh, whatever we see here can still be revised according to Ben and Papa Albert. I think he's referring to the uh, founders. Let's proceed to the next page. Page one, refinement. Refining genotype crystals. And the genotype crystal is the base unit of construction. So there are five different crystals, the earth, fire, metal, water, and wood, as can be seen on page seven. Now it says here, why do we need to refine those crystal, crystals? Number one, the habitat spawns unrefined crystals daily. So this obviously applies to those who have habitats. If I'm just a harvester myself, I cannot see it. Because I don't have the habitat. Number two, crafting requires a lot of refined crystals. So those are the two reasons why we want to refine crystals. Because the habitats are producing unrefined crystals. And uh, 
two, we will be needing them for the crafting. So as you can see, they draw a schematic picture of the refinery where all the uh, uh, refining of crystals are happening. Page two, crafting crystals. Okay, so this is the second use of the refining. Cosmetic crystals. These are the items used to change a genopet's aesthetics, including body parts. So uh, if you didn't notice, I think most of the uh, beta testers, we almost have similar shape and look of genopets. Unlike the Genesis genopets, they look different. But there's like it's like a ball, and we only differ on the uh, colors. And but I think we're pretty much similar, fifty percent. So with crafting, with crafting, we will be able to change the appearance of our Gino pets. Now, um, there's three types of uh, crystals that will be needed for the cosmetic. They call it primary. Chroma crystal, details page 10, secondary chroma crystal, and the light crystal. So there's a sketch again of how do they look like. So I can't imagine how our uh, genopets will transform based on this sketch. And then there's an asterisk here needed to change the colors of my pet. Ah, okay. So possibly light will be, become yellow. Possibly primary becomes blue. I don't know. Secondary could be green. So basically, this will change the colors of our Geno pets. Guys, uh, disclaimer, I'm just interpreting this based on my own um, forecast of what they're talking about. But as we uh, know more um, announcement this week, we will find out more about the details. So feel free if you had a different interpretation to write down on the comments below. Let's go to the crafting reagents or regions. I'll just call it reagents. So what are reagents? It's a crafted compounds combined with other components to create augments and other effect producing items so i think it refers to the different parts of the um uh, genopet so we have antenna antenna reagent page 13 ear reagent page 14 eye reagent page 15 horn reagent page 16 main reagent page 17 tail reagent page 18 with a circle we don't know why Wing reagent, page 19. And then again, they uh, put a uh, sketch of the different agent of maybe how they will look like. So we have horn, mane, eye, wing, tail, and uh, antenna, or possibly the horn. Um, there's an asterisk here. Must craft this first key ingredients for augments. So I think we need to craft all the different parts of the uh, genopet. Next page, crafting augments. Augment is swappable genopet body parts used to customize your pet. Reagents are necessary. Okay, so again, they put the antenna, ears, eyes, horns, manes, tails, and wings. So we have two, four, six, seven body parts of genopets that we can swap or amend based on the crafting that we will do, we will do soon. Uh, another asterisk here, no augment is guaranteed. And then need to craft a reagent before I can craft this. All right, so there's, I think there's two-step process. So we need to do a reagent and then we need to do crafting. So again, there are uh, photos here of a main side, horn, mushroom main, horn, ear, ear. So I think it depends on what you will craft and uh, what uh, 
you can augment then it the 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 resulting will will be based on that so it will be random i think next page okay here now are the details but as you can see from page 4 it skips to page 18 so possibly in the next release they will show the missing pages until we can form the entire notebook and we will have an idea of how to uh to uh, uh, augment and uh, do reagents and refine crystals and everything so let's start with the tail reagent recipe so with the tail reagent an advanced ingredient needed to craft tail augments so it will uh, the time to craft is instant so the recipe is you need a water crystal plus another water crystal plus 10 key. So I think this is a very good burning mechanism. I think this is for one of the burning mechanism that we will be going to use within the game. The, the asterisk here is when crafting with a tail reagent, the only guarantee is a tail augment or it will change. Uh will be created, but not which tail augment. And there's a password here. We don't know yet where we will use the password. And I don't know why they uh, highlighted not which tail augment. So it's like random. The, the, the result will be random. All, the, all, the, the, all they're saying is the tail will be different or it will be augmented. But we don't know which type of tail. So possibly there would be a lot of combination of tails in terms of the look. So let's go to the wing reagent recipe. So this time you need metal crystal, two metal crystal and a 10 key. Same, the uh, uh, time is instant. And same, they said wing reagent and advanced ingredient needed to craft wing augments. And there's the reminder that there's no guarantee what kind of wing I'll craft when using this reagent in recipe. So it will always be random. Like there's no specific uh, target or uh, specific output per uh, recipe. Crafting augments. My Genopet is going to look legendary. Okay. Augments means swappable Geno pet accessories and parts used to customize your pet. Important. Um, I don't know what they meant with these numbers. Uh, it's a code, possibly. It's a uh, coding uh, system. If you know how to decode these guys. By the way, I've I, I've uh, watched the. Uh, uh, one of the, I think the owner of uh, one of the guilds called um, Undisputed Noobs, because I'm part of this, um, of this, uh, I'm not a scholar of this guild, but I just like the way that they're posting uh, the, the, I think the owner here or the investor keeps doing good videos about it. And I was able to watch actually how he interpret this book and very amazing. Like they were able to decode what um could this mean? So if I were you, you go to that um uh you refer to that um Discord as well. All right. So again, the augments we can swap. So in the future, I think you can swap the tail, or you can swap your horn with other um uh users. So it will be cool because we can swap. If we don't like our tail or our wings, we can swap after we augment. And then overview, augments overview. When crafting an augment with a reagent, the resulting augment will have the following odds. 70% common, 25% uncommon, and 5% rare. So... Basically, after augmenting, um, all the genu pets will dif will have different um, categories. It could be a common, uncommon, or rare. And then important crafting augments is a science of good fortune plus mystery. So you need to be lucky to be able to get a rare or uncommon. And then it says here, the type of reagent used determines the type of augment, but... 
no way to guarantee what augment I'm crafting or its stats. So I should craft as much as possible. Why craft augments? Number one, make my Genopet look cool. AF. I don't know what is AF. If you know, guys, please let me know. Uh, cooler augments could make my pet more unique and valuable? Question mark. So we don't know yet. How will it become valuable? Number three, battle. Augments affect stats. So I'm just thinking about Axe Infinity. I have a feeling it will be something similar. Um, that it depends on your uh, tail or on your uh, horn or your eyes, your ears. Um, if this is your ear, you can uh, outpower this kind of ear. So I think it will be something similar to that. That's why I think in the future, you cannot just go and be contented in one type of ear or tail or antenna. I think in the future, there will be meta or uh, combinations that can outlast or uh, uh, more powerful in the arena. So this is exciting because this will give a different dynamics in the future in terms of battling uh, in the space. So I guess the good thing here is um, all the Geno Pets owners can participate. Unlike the uh, refinement of, of crystals, obviously only uh, uh, habitat owners can have that. Or you can buy on the marketplace for unrefined crystal for refined crystals all right next augments and battle so here it is prepare now to win the fight so i think the augments will be very important for the battle so not just a pretty thing so in short um the augments and uh, crafting will not just be to make our geno pets look good but also in preparation for the battle Augments are cr crucial to battle. They'll determine my move, move set and modify my battle stats. So they already showed here what are the possible combinations. You have HP. I think it's very, very similar to Axie Infinity. Uh, HP refers to the life and then attack and then defense and then the speed. Prepare to battle. My augments will affect battle value. More augments, more strategies to adapt versus various opponents. So possibly at the start of the game, it will take a while before we can discover what are the good combinations of the body parts and looks. Okay, let's go to tail augment recipe. Tail augments, swap your, swipe your tail to knock them down, can replace a Genopet's current tail or attribute. Okay, so it will dictate your uh, uh, your power to knock your opponent. So this time, oh, this is good because you can use any crystal. And then you need a tail reagent plus one gene token. So this will be a good uh, burning uh, mechanism for the gene token as well. Now, if you craft and mix these three, uh, there's a question mark here. No guarantee which tail will be created when crafting. And these are the possible uh, outputs. You have Anais, Tetra, Mugu, Ajna, Boran. Sorry if I pronounced them wrongly. Tail augment will immediately match whatever level and stage my Genopet is. So we don't know yet the power of this individual possible tail. But for sure, one will be overcoming the others. So it's like, again, in Genopets, it's like rock, paper, scissor, that if this rock can beat the scissor, the paper can beat the scissor, the, 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 the paper can beat the rock, something. I think they will do something like that. Tail evolution. As my pet evolves, the tail augments will evolve too. So marketplace augments will always show as stage one. All right. So as you can see, the appearance of the uh, tails will also evolve as you go higher uh, with your Genopets leveling. That's why it's very important that as of now, we start to level up our pets. I think I just hit level six. 
and it takes a while to level up because you need a lot of um, uh, XP to level it up as I've already shown on the video that I had shown before. So if you haven't seen that yet, please scroll to my previous videos. And then let's go to the wing augment recipe. Wing augments, flop them hard enough to make a slight breeze. Can replace a Genopet's current wing attribute. So that's good because it always improves the attribute of the Genopet as you augment your uh, body parts that we just seen. So this time, same, um, there it's any crystal will do plus a wing reagent and one gene. Same, uh, got no guarantee which wing will be created. So they have here Pyplea, Ava, Narusa, Vital, and Cyrus. And it says here, doesn't matter what stage my Genopet is, the wing will automatically evolve to match. So it's pretty good because whether you're still starting or you're already near the end or you're on the mid, it will automatically adjust the uh, appearance of your uh, wing in your Genopets once you do this crafting. All right, next, uh, wing evolution. As my pet evolves, the wing augments will evolve too. So same with the tail. As you go higher in your, uh, in your leveling, your wing will also change and will just get better. So that's page 36. And then this is pretty cool. Um, this was decoded again by Steve Woody from uh, a noob, uh, Undisputed Noob. I forgot what they, uh, like they searched on the internet. It's like a Morse code that uh, each symbol corresponds to a uh, letter. I think, uh, let me think if I can recall, I think, more to see, something like that. Uh, this is like more to see soon. Uh, see what you got, something like that. So you don't. we don't need to really uh, be bothered. But uh, yeah, maybe let's concentrate here. To self, to self are over 90 possible craftable items coming, Genoverse. But those are just starting items need to another book. So as you can see, there are a lot of missing um, pages. But they're saying here there are 90 possible crafting items so there will be a lot of combination guys that we can try and test so it will be good because it's a good burning mechanism um, for both the key um, the gene token so at least we will revolve the uh, key that we will be using and it's also good so not all will just keep selling and will make the token prices go down so now I'll show you quickly, uh, just to prepare, just to prepare. Um, let's say, for example, for wing, you need any crystal, wing reagent, and one gene. So for the crystals, I'll just show you how much is it. If you don't have a habitat, your only way is to go to the marketplace and buy genotype crystal. At the moment, these are the current prices of refined. So you don't need to uh, refine them anymore because they're already refined. So the cheapest so far is a wood crystal at 0 0.034 Solana. And Solana is currently at 31.34, which means that will be in dollars 0 0.034 times 31.24 roughly. 1.06 dollars if you want to know in terms of G, uh key you just divide that die by 0 0.09197 so roughly 11.5 key so in short uh, if you would be wanting to do those um crafting and re doing reagents you need to start um keeping key or convert your xp into key so you can buy, or into Solana, so you can buy uh, refined crystals. Okay, and if we go back to the uh, reagents, it, it depends on which one are you crafting. It's usually costing, say, 
two crystal and 10 key. So you can do the math of how much you need to save at the moment for you to uh, participate in the crafting in the future. So possibly I'll be starting to uh, keep, as you, as you can, uh, I think September 9 is my first, um, I will receive my 14 day key that I earned. And from then on, I will just keep re uh, receiving 25, 25, 25 starting on September 9. So I'll be saving some of my key so I can participate in crafting in the future. All right. So basically, that's the main thing that I want to share. So you can prepare as well, just in case you want to prepare your Genopets for battling in the future. So yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you've learned something. Again, that notebook, I only interpreted it from my own understanding and guess. If you have something different, I want to know. Please comment down below. And also, I want to know if you will be participating in this uh, battle system, if you will be participating in the crafting so your genopets will look nice. And of course, more importantly, to prepare the stats, improve the attributes of your genopets for the upcoming battle. For sure, I will be trying myself because I'll be excited to know how to win using the different body parts of the Geno pets since I played um, a bit of Axe Infinity before. So I think I have a slight idea how of what possible um, battle that we may encounter. But again, I don't know yet the full details. So I can only share what I can think of at the moment. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I do a lot of um, Step and Geno pets uh, video and I also feature different NFT projects and different move to earn projects as well. And it's as usual, if you find value to my uh, videos, please don't forget to hit that like button as well. Thank you so much. Let's go and terraform.